Hey there, welcome back guys to another Destiny 2 video, with today's topic covering the brand new perk called Danger Zone, and generally looking into how good it is, what it can do, and whether it's worth investing into or not. The Danger Zone perk can be found on either the Ignition Code Grenade Launcher, or the Empty Vessel Energy Grenade Launcher. The perk states that the blast radius of this weapon increases when surrounded by enemies. Now just like the Surrounded and Threat Detector perks, the perk activates once three or more enemies are near you, and then once triggered, you will see the perk activate on the bottom left of the screen with the call sign of Danger Zone. You will only see this appear once surrounded and not when you fire your round to activate it. Now how good this perk is is quite tough to say as it's increasing your blast radius by quite a bit, but the main issue we have to deal with here is how much buy, since it requires an environment to where you are surrounded but also have enemies at distance to trigger it and see the effects. You see, as my weapon has blinding rounds as a perk, this should extend its reaches to a much larger range than what we had before. When using blinding rounds, you need to detonate them at around a 1 to 5 meter range to completely blind a target for a few seconds. Once you start to go above 5 meters though, that's when the perk effectively starts to fall off. So with this perk, we should be able to extend this radius by either a lot or just a bit, and that's genuinely what I'm going to test out. For us to know more about its effectiveness in game, I went ahead and tested the perk to see what I can sum up with. I tested the Lost Sector, the Ori, or Nessus for a closed testing area. This area best provided the needs to activate the perk via the pillars available and enemies in groups. I used Ignition Code with the perk activated on a set perk roll, with one using the blinding grenades and one using implosion rounds just to compare the noticeable changes between the two. Test 1 involved using the Ignition Code with implosion rounds to see if the blast radius extended much further than before. Once I got the perk active and tested it out, I noticed a slight increase to explosion being made compared to not having the perk active. It wasn't by a lot and I would have considered it something worth investing into for the weapon if you have a high amount of blast radius already. It wouldn't make much of a difference to the user in PvE and it's very hard to pull us off in PvP. This shouldn't be surprising though considering that weapons with large blast radius and perks that increase it even more won't make that much of a noticeable difference especially with how Bungie does it. My second test involved using the same weapon, but this time with and without the perk active, and also using blinding grenades as a whole. Against a group of enemies, when the perk wasn't active, I was able to attack them within the vicinity of the blast and watch as they moved around days from the blast radius. Without the perk active, it was around a 1 to 5 meters effective range for the blinding grenades alone. From that, I tried the perk when it activated and saw a noticeable difference to what was shown before. It seems like once the perk is active, it boosts the range of blind nades by an extra 2 to 3 meters ish, which overall pushes max range of 5 meters to 7 to 8 ish meters. This was noticeable near the last section of the area against the boss and his combatants, to where I stood on the pillar and used the pillar to let the enemies surround me and then used a wall a bit further out as a basis of how far the blast radius would affect the enemies. On blinding aid, this is quite a buff when you think about how you can quickly shoot a round in the air above you to briefly blind all enemies within the vicinity, although this will take a bit of practice. So it seems like the best way to use the perk is to actually use it on any grenade launcher with blinding rounds to maximize the range difference. I did also try this out with the surrounded mob to see if that would affect the range or the perk activation or just genuinely something, but I didn't see anything noticeable. Considering that the perk requires you to be surrounded by at least 3 plus enemies and you need to have a clear target available at distance to make use of it, it's probably best for you to use this in low level content where you won't die as much but have plenty of opportunity to use it at max. It's also recommended that you fire this into the air to activate it on a wider scale and not worry about flinch or aim assist kicking in. Now you can use this weapon in any content that is not Grandmasters or raised to a degree. Although Grandmasters isn't the best of places to use it in because of the strictness of the mechanics, you can still use it but only if you play it safe and use cover. Blinding grenades are an amazing tool to use in the endgame content, with its effectiveness easily shutting down the most aggressive and frustrating enemies to face. Since this season has grenade launch of focus mods such as Unstoppable and Breaching Clear, Pairing up with a perk can potentially create a powerful combo that can rival even Anarchy in terms of overall effectiveness. One tip I also recommend you do, as you will be attacked by enemies constantly, make sure you use Well or Barricade if you are a Warlock or Titan so you can survive longer while out in the open. 
or better off, use the Bulwark mod to gain overshield enemies via finishers for extra protection. Or use the Protective Light mod to reduce the amount of incoming damage when in critical. Even using status fragments such as Whispers of Rhymes or Chains can really help you out for lasting longer. These here will allow you to survive a tad longer when playing a much more risky player style. However, this will require you to get more comfortable with using breach load up grenade launchers and also keep in mind how to use blinding grenades as a whole and how to activate them at the same time. These perks do require knowing when to detonate at the right time and although landing a direct hit would be better, not all enemies are bulky enough for you to do this 100% of the time. So final verdict on the perk, is it worth getting and keeping? Personally, I would say yes because I'm a collector of weird perk combos in general, but mainly yes as a whole, as that extra boost to blast radius on blinding grenades is worth it if you plan to control a whole field of enemies. Although not having the perk is fine, if you plan to play any content where you're up against a wave upon wave of enemies at once, with little cover involved, this perk can easily help with suppressing a large field of enemies all in one go. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny or Titanfall lore content if you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, I see you on the next one.